Hi guys, it's Tori. So today we are doing a massive collective book haul. We are in a different setting. I decided to film up in like my living room area because the natural lighting is on point today. So I thought we would just give it a whirl so that I didn't have to mess with like my ring light and all that shit. So we're upstairs. I know the background isn't the prettiest, but the lighting is immaculate. So First of all, I want to give a few little announcements. So, as you guys know, I'm seeing Taylor Swift June 9th, night one in Detroit, and I am literally so excited. Well, as of an hour ago, I am now seeing Post Malone July 9th in Cincinnati, and I am literally so, 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 so excited. Taylor Swift and Post Malone, a month apart to the date. I'm so freaking excited. If you don't know, Post Malone has been one of my top artists probably since I was in like seventh or eighth grade, like literally for like six or seven years. I've loved him. He's so good. I really, really, really wanted to go to his tour that he did last year. I couldn't find anybody to go with me. So now I get to go see him this year and I'm so excited. I will insert the video of my reaction to getting the tickets because I literally like died dead, but I'm so, so excited. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, wait, I actually just fucking did that. Second of all, I am getting a new tattoo in a week and a half, and I'm very, very, very excited about it. I'm probably going to take you guys with me, and that actually might be it. That might be all the updates. Obviously, I graduated college, and I'm working full-time now. Um, my schedule actually is pretty nice so far. I know the deeper into summer we get, the busier my work schedule is going to get, but for now, I'm really enjoying it. I have a few days off a week, but I'm still working full-time, so... It's very nice. I'm a very, very happy girl. Life is actually two thumbs up great. But with all that being said, I know not all of you are here to listen to me rant and talk. So with all that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my face. Check out all my socials down below, including my Goodreads and my Amazon wish list. And let's get into this huge collective book haul. So as you guys know, I was supposed to be on a book buying ban. Um, that didn't exactly go to plan. I definitely did a lot better about not buying books, but somehow I still literally have two stacks here. So these are all of the books that I have bought within the past like two and a half months or so. Um, yes, I do have books in my Amazon cart right now that I want to buy, but after just buying concert tickets, I'm going to have to just slow down a little bit. But I also have a book coming in the mail literally any time now, probably in the next 20 minutes or so. So let's just jump on in. Everything is either from Barnes & Noble or Amazon. The first one is Playing Hard to Get by Monica Murphy. This book I read on my Kindle and I literally lived for it. It was literally so good. The book I have coming in the mail is actually the second book in the series. And I only bought the physical copies because one, these covers are stunning. And two, I love them so much that I want to go through and annotate everything that I annotated on my Kindle. I haven't done that yet. I don't know why. You would have thought that I would have gotten there already, but we just, you know, haven't made it that far. But this series is literally so, so, so good. It is football college romance, which you guys know I'm a sucker for. It's a little spicy. It's just super cute, super good. Literally love this series so freaking much. Highly, highly, highly recommend. The next book is Kiss the Sky by Krista and Becca Ritchie. My pre-order came in just a few days ago, and I'm so, so, so excited to get into the Callaway Sisters part of the Addicted series. So I haven't read the third book yet, which I believe is Addicted for now. So I need to read that one before I read this one, but... I'm very excited. Um, I love the new covers. I think they're literally beautiful. So I can't wait. And then I already pre-ordered um, Hot House Flower, which will be here in June. So very excited. Next is one that literally everybody has read and it is all over all social medias right now. And that's Flawless by Elsie Silver. This is the like pretty cover edition or whatever. I think she has like different versions, but I got 
the cute covers. So this is supposed to be a small town cowboy romance. If you don't know me, I have been in my cowgirl, country girl era. Um, I am from Ohio, if you didn't know. So literally looking out these windows, all I see is cornfields. So I am a small town girl at heart. I was born and raised in a teeny tiny town in Ohio. And I was raised on country music, riding four wheelers and going to the lake. So I'm a country girl at heart. I do need to give me some cowgirl boots for sure, but we will get there. But I'm very, very excited to read this. I heard it's super, super good. I don't really know too, too much about it. Um, I think it's about a like professional bull rider and he is going through a bit of a rebellious stage and so his like manager or something decides that the manager's daughter is going to basically babysit the bull rider and they end up falling in love. So I'm very very excited to get into this one. Next two books I have looked for literally everywhere. I've been looking for them for a month and a half in Barnes and Noble can't find them apparently they don't sell this author in barnes and noble i don't fucking know makes no sense because i saw other people get them in stores but apparently i can't so the first one is daughter of no worlds by carissa broadbent i am so beyond ecstatic this is a fantasy book um carissa broadbent writes fantasies um, I think it's a fantasy romance, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what she's known for. But Sarah Caroli literally just tooted this book's horn, like, ten times. Literally over and over and over. She would not stop talking about it. So, I'm so very excited to read this. Um, she said it's amazing, so that makes me think that I'm just gonna love it. I love a good fantasy. I love a good fantasy romance. So, I literally cannot wait to get into this. Also... The cover is low-key everything like bad bitch for real we love a bad independent woman and that's what this is giving the next one is another one by carissa broadbent and it's the serpent and the wings of night this one i have also literally seen absolutely everywhere i am so very excited to get in this um some people have said it's similar to akatar but then destiny and sarah said it's like nothing like akatar um i believe it's about vampires but they said they're like found family part makes you give Akatar vibes a little bit. I don't know. If you don't know me, Akatar is literally my all-time favorite book series in the entire world. I don't think anything could ever top it for me. So when I heard it, this was similar, it made me very excited, but I'm still very, very excited to get into this. Once again, fantasy romance. Um, very excited. Don't really know what it's about, but I know that everyone is live laugh and loving this and then there is a second one and a novella so depending on if i love this i will definitely be picking those up as well and a little note is carissa broadbent is on ku just in case you are a kindle reader rather than a physical book reader you can get her books on ku but i tend to buy physical books over ku books even if i read them on ku i buy them physically i don't i don't know what it is it's an addiction don't know what to tell you the last book in the first stack is Redeeming Six. This is Boys of Tommen number four. If you saw my last book haul, you saw me get one through three. Well, they are discontinuing these um, covers, and so I had to get the last one to match my other ones. I currently am reading Binding 13, which is the first book in the series. I have been in a terrible, 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 terrible reading slump for about two months now. I've really been struggling. I think I only have like 100 pages left of it, so my goal is to really truck through it in the next few days um, and just like get it over with. I mean, I'm loving it. I'm loving it for sure, but I need to move on to something else. But this is the fourth book. Love the series so far. The only thing is that the books are literally hefty and the writing's pretty small. This one is literally like 800 pages and it's very heavy, but I'm very, very excited to continue the series. Um, this one is about shannon which is the main female character in the first two books this is about her brother joey and his girlfriend alfie so i'm very very excited to read their story because they got some fucked up shit going on for real like the series definitely has a lot of trigger warnings so please look into those before you read it but i love it i 
thoroughly enjoy it. Next, we have a couple of fantasies. So the first one is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This is the first book in the Mortal Instruments series. I was doing some research trying to figure out what of her like series you were supposed to read first and I was getting a little confused. So I just opted for the Mortal Instruments to start off. Um, she has like three or four series but they're all in the same universe and they all kind of interconnect and intertwine in certain ways so i'm very like excited but confused about that but i did pick this up i'm very very excited these spines on her books are to die for like when they're all side by side by side literally stunning so the mortal instruments series is six books long and then you have the internal devices which is three books long and then you have dark artifices and then she also has the like ones with the really pretty girls on it there's a new one i think the chain of gold just recently came out so you have to read a bunch of books before you can like get into some of her other ones but i'm very excited to get into this the next one is king of battle in blood by scarlet st Clair. This one was recommended to me by the Barnes & Noble worker when I picked this up. Um, it's a fantasy romance. And once again, I really know nothing about it. But the girl said it was good. And it looks very fast-paced, easy to read. Um, the cover's stunning. I love covers like this. But it's literally like 350 pages. I think I could fly through this if I like got into it so i'm very excited about that one we have two l kennedy books so the first one is misfit um this is the new series by her the prep series so this is the first book in that series i recently read the second book in the um off campus series and i loved it and it just reminded me of how much i love l kennedy's writing and her book boyfriends so i went ahead and i picked up this one it is also on ku a lot of her books are on ku so if you don't want physical books you can get them on ku but this one says welcome to standover prep where the delinquents roam and you can't trust a soul and that is very enticing for me personally so i can't wait to get into this the last l kennedy book i have is the score this is the third book in the off campus series like i said i recently read the second one which is the mistake and so i wanted to pick up the third one because i'm just really feeling her books she also is a very inexpensive author to buy from at least off of amazon i think this was like maybe nine dollars but these books are so good i literally love the off-campus series if you haven't read anything from l kennedy i highly recommend they're super easy to get through very fast paced very like endearing and really draw you in and the romance is good i promise it's good a little spicy but very good live laugh love it the last fantasy book we have is Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. This is the um, Barnes & Noble exclusive edition cover. But this, once again, was recommended by none other than the booktubers of all booktubers. So Sarah, Haley, and Des all love this one. And the second one is supposed to be even better. And then I think the third one comes out in like September or October. So I'm very, very, very excited to get into this. Um... I think it's YA, but I don't fully remember. Um, I'm very, 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 very excited to read it. It was um, the book pick of the month for April for Sarah Caroli's book club. Like I said, I've been in a really bad reading slump, so unfortunately I didn't end up reading it. But I am very, very excited to dip my toe into this and read stuff from stephanie garber if you don't know she is also the author of the caraval series so very excited to read that i have addicted for now by kristen becca ritchie like i said earlier this is the third book in the addicted calloway sisters series so i had pre-ordered this one and it came in within the last few months um i haven't gotten to it yet but i'm going to soon it is on my like mental tbr like very top of the list i have a few that are very top of the list but this one's very much so up there because I want to read like one of these books a month as they continue to come out and pre-order. Um, the one that I don't know when you can get pre-order wise is I think called Thrive. 
Um, I think that's the sixth book in the series. It's after Hot House Flower. And on Amazon, you can't like pre-order it yet. So I don't really know what that's about. It's a little confusing how they're doing their pre-orders and stuff. But very excited to continue Lily and Lowe's story. Um, I don't really want to say anything because it is in the middle of the series and it will ruin a lot for you if you haven't read the first two. But I'm excited to pick up where we left off and see how Lily and Lowe can like fight their addictions together and hopefully they make it out and everything goes well but i'm very excited to read this one the very last book i have i might have missed a few i honestly don't know but it is alice feeney's rock paper scissors so i've been on the hunt for this in barnes for a very long time and i was having a bit of a rough day and my best friend alexia also known as bria that's what i call her as bria she picked it up for me when she saw it in stores and so Thank you, Brie Brie. I literally love you so much. I appreciate you. So she got me this book and I'm very, 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 very excited about it. Um, I cannot wait to read it. I don't know if it's really the vibe right now because if you don't know, it is a mystery thriller. But Sarah Caroli literally... My book stack fell over. That literally just scared the living shit out of me like i was saying this is a mystery thriller and sarah Corley literally loves alice feeney so much i think she's read everything that she's published but um i'm excited it's i think about like a marriage I think you know the person you married think again 10 years of marriage 10 years of secrets and an anniversary they will never forget very interesting very intriguing very excited this really hits the spot if you don't know, I work at Starbies and I went in because it's my day off and I got a venti iced peach green tea lemonade with light tea and light ice, which that means that it gets extra peach juice and extra lemonade. And I also get pumps of liquid sugar cane in it. So good. Sarah put me on and I literally haven't been able to stop since. I think this has literally been my drink of choice for the past like two months. Like I've been getting this instead of coffee. And it's just summer and happiness in a drink. If you can't tell, Tori is having literally a great day. I'm so happy today. Anyway, um, let's show off our book stacks like I always do. I'm going to have to do two separate stacks because they're very heavy. And there's, I don't even know how many books here. I probably don't want to know because it's definitely too many. And I definitely didn't need to buy more books. But yeah, we got um, a lot of new books to read. I already have a very, very, very long TBR and I just keep adding to it. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my face. I have missed you all. I know I've been a little MIA. My life has been literally just absolutely crazy recently. Like I have had no time for anything other than like work and I've been seeing friends a lot but it's fine I'm gonna get back into it I pinky 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 promise you so I hope you guys enjoyed make sure you like comment and subscribe to my face check out all my socials down below including my goodreads and my amazon wish list and I will see all of you amazing lovely people in my next video bye guys